Hey everyone, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I do a bunch of different fossil and treasure hunting videos here on the channel. And today, I am heading to a place that I call The Roads, or a series of places that we call The Roads. And these are literal roads where there are fossils on them. There are fossilized shark's teeth and fossilized shells because they're using film material from a shell mine in the area to pour on the roads for like to prevent erosion and stuff like that. So luckily for me, I get to go find some cool fossils in that instance. So we're heading there now, guys. It won't be long. We'll be finding some cool stuff. Let's get to it. It looks like today might include a little bit of storm chasing today. Also because, oh my goodness, those clouds look nasty. Today's going to be a fun one. I can feel it. That is absolutely gnarly looking, man. I love that. It's gore. It's seriously beautiful. All right, friends, on the very first road right here, and pretty soon we'll be hitting some patches of shelly material, which will hopefully hold some shark's teeth for us. Before we even get started, I just want to say that my beard and my hair is getting completely out of control. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna keep it growing because why not let's go find some fossils there's a nice olive shell that's been sitting out for a while very nice and uh, what we can do later too is take a bunch of these shells that we find and once it gets dark we'll take a look at them under the UV light and see if they have any patterns on them so that'll be pretty cool to do later on check that out right there guys looks like a tooth Oh, it's all busted up. It's a piece of a bag. That is awesome. Heck yeah. Sweet. First one of the day, so we got to keep walking. I just picked that one up. Hey, look at right there in the tracks. Oh, it's a busted meg. I wonder if that got busted from someone running it over. It looks like it could be a fresh break. So is the other half of it here somewhere? <laughs> that would be wild. Ah, uh, I don't think it is. That's crazy though, really good start to the day already. That's awesome, so I'm feeling pretty good about today, my friends. Oh my gosh, two seconds after picking up that, look at, there's a little tiger shark tooth just pressed right down in the middle. That's crazy, look at all this stuff. You can see all the little pebbles and shells pressed down, so I'm gonna look closely at this stuff as well and keep on going that way. Look at that big cone shell right there. It's busted on the bottom, but since I can tell it's been sitting here for so long, I'm gonna take it so we can take a look at that one under a UV light later, because usually the cone shells will have some good design on there, especially if it's been sitting out in the sun for a while, it brings that stuff out. Pretty cool. So we'll check that out later. If you're wondering how the UV light shows the patterns in the shells, I'm actually not 100% sure of the exact science behind it, but it does it and some of them are really really cool and they kind of fluoresce like a bright orange so I'm excited to take a look at these shells later on. Alright I just finished walking the first spot and I already got three teeth and I've only been hunting for like five minutes or so so it's time to get in the vehicle right here and move on to some other places on down the road and hopefully find more of that right there. All right, just made it to a new road. This one's looking awfully shelly, and there's a little piece of bone right there, which I can't really get it out, but it's a piece of bone, probably whale bone or something like that. And so it's looking pretty good right here, so let's walk it. There's a cool little shell right there. It's one of my favorite kinds to find. It's called a Cancellaria, and I just love the way they look, so always happy to find those ones right there. Pretty cool. No. I just got to some great spots and the rain has finally caught up with me. Hopefully it doesn't last long to be able to get back out to looking because I don't have an umbrella. And my phone's definitely not waterproof, so I'm going to have to wait this one out. At least it's cooling it off a little bit. But hopefully we'll be finding some puzzles here soon. The rain has subsided, but by the looks of it, probably not for long. <laughs> so... I'm on a road right here. I gotta hurry up and look at it real quick before it starts to pour down again. So let's check it out. Well, that was disappointing because that road looked way too good for there to be no shark teeth on. And so uh, I think I'm just gonna go home and question every decision I ever made. Just kidding, y'all. 
We're gonna go find some fossils. Let's go to the next road. I just gotta take that olive shell home. Cause it's huge. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, it's a little bit busted up. I might not keep that one. But pretty cool to see him just sitting there like that old ocean creature waiting on the road for you to pick it up and go, I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, and right after letting that one go, we get a nice one, nice complete one. I will keep you. You will come home with me. And right there, there's a really cool little shell right there, too. Not sure on the name on those ones, but a very beautiful seashell nonetheless. Right, we're going to walk up on this together. I just saw something real cool right there. You are. <laughs> I can't talk. Y'all see that? Oh, man. It's a megalodon shark tooth right there with a bunch of matrix on it. That sucks. That corner is busted, but that's pretty cool, man. Megalodon shark tooth on a dirt road in Florida. That is so beautiful. Wow. Well, I'm happy with that. I'm a little upset that it's busted, but man, I'll take it. It's a megalodon shark tooth. Who the heck wouldn't take that? So, heck yeah. All right. Let's keep going. It's getting late. It's about six o'clock now. I'm going to go on a whim, and I'm going to take about an hour drive to a different area and hope, and just hope that that pans out for me. I mean, I've got megalodon teeth, so I'm happy, but I want bigger, better megalodon teeth. So we're going to take a little drive here for an hour and then get to some spots that are hopefully even better. Let's go. I feel like I've been driving for so long. I just want to get to these other roads. It's been raining a little bit. Hopefully that means that there's some Megalodon shark teeth washed out on these roads, but we're getting much closer, so very soon we'll be finding some more stuff. Look at all the turkeys! Look at all of them! Turkey, 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 turkey. Made it. All right, made it after a drive to one of my favorite roads, and look at right off the bat, there's already a really cool, nice, complete cone shell right there. So that one might be good under the UV as well, so we're going to hold on to it and check it out later on at the end of the video. And now, let's walk. Do you all see it? Oh my goodness, a giant half of a megalodon shark tooth. <laughs> That would have been crazy if that was complete. Oh my gosh. Still really cool to see that though. That is awesome. I'm super glad I came out to this road. This is great. Look at where it was sitting. That's crazy. Well, that's awesome. I'll absolutely take that. Let's keep walking. That's kind of cool right there. It's an uncommon find for out here. It's a little echinoid. So see this pieces of limestone and stuff like that? Usually you don't find them in the shell stuff, but if they dump that limestone stuff on the roads too, you can find these. That one's really good shape too. That's awesome. I will absolutely take that. Check this out, guys. I don't think I have ever found one of these on the roads. It's a crab claw. It's a fossilized crab claw. It is so cool. That is just wild. I did not ever expect to find one of those on the roads, but... I guess it makes sense. It's all shell material and stuff, so they were crabs. That's cool. I'm I'm happy with that. All right. Get right down here, guys. We're on a roll. I see a tooth right there. Very awesome little mako shark tooth. That's cool. This road is just loaded with shell stuff. Look at that. Like, it's just solid, and it's thick, too, here on the edges where it's all washed out. So I'm looking real... I can't talk. I'm looking real carefully all over the place, and hopefully we're going to find some more. And look at that right there. That is a big, giant tiger shark tooth. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's really cool. So, that and a mako and a big half of a meg on this little section of road right here. Very, very nice. I guess now it's time to get some other places in before the end of the day but if that's all we find I think it was a success all right y'all well today turned out actually to be pretty awesome found some really really cool stuff I had a great day it felt good to just 
get out of the house and go enjoy being in the outdoors and finding some cool fossils and just driving around and seeing the countryside and all that. So now I'm going to start heading back home. I've got a little over an hour drive or so and it should be dark by that time and then we're going to pull out the UV light and take a look at the shells and shark teeth and stuff that we found today. Shark teeth will probably glow and some of the shells will have the pattern glowing on them as well. So here in a little bit, we'll check that out. Let's get to it. Y'all stay tuned. So heading on the way home, getting ready for dark time to show you guys the finds under a UV light today, but I couldn't resist showing y'all that absolutely beautiful sunset right there. Check that out. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we'll be home here in a little bit. All right, everybody, I have made it home and got the stuff laid out right here. I got the UV light ready. These shells right here were not found today. These are ones I've had sitting outside in the sun for a while, so the patterns are crazy. So I wanted to show you those. And then we're going to take a look at some of this stuff right here as well. But before I do that, we can just kind of go through everything a little bit. Some nice shark teeth, tiger sharks, some megalodon teeth, an echinoid, some cone shells, crab claw, some of these guys, a little... Uh, cone shells there and also olive shells and then those guys over there so let's take a look at this stuff with the UV so I had to bring these outside because there's just too much reflection in there on the towel and it's still gonna look terrible because I'm on my phone unfortunately it's the only way I can do it right now um, but you can still see what's going on here with the patterns you saw before they were just nothing but white, but I've got the UV light on them now. And look at those cone shells right there. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And then the shark teeth have a little bit of a glow to them. Check this out. There should be phosphorescent. See that? That's crazy. You hold the light on it and then take it off and it continues to glow. That's really, really crazy. And then some of the little ones I found today had a little bit of pattern, but not a whole lot. So I could probably set them out in the sun. Look at this tooth. Tiger shark. Ugh. Oh no, that one didn't do it. This one right here. Oh, it's so crazy. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to show you all that. Thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you all in the next video, my friends.